Hello everyone, welcome back to the Melee Pistols run through, walkthrough, what have you. Uh, this is your host, Professor Reha, and unfortunately we do not, we did not, let me rephrase that, we did not get to Honored with Devil's Crossing before starting the famous, I believe it's 10 scrap only for the bridge, before starting the famous Cronley's gang, and there are two reasons for this. One or two reasons, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, one is I didn't rescue Luther Graves in Veteran, and I can't remember if he's worth 100 or 100, I'm sorry, if he's worth 150 or um, 300 uh, reputation. I can't quite remember, at least in uh, uh, Veteran. Uh, but he might have tipped me over because I'm at 276, I think? And then, of course, there's the fact that since I'm, you know, blitzing through this, generally speaking, I didn't wipe out as many Cronley's gang members as I could have if I had been running through this the first time and be much more thorough in exploring. Now, you're going to see damage drop off here because the, you know, just hopping to a different subject really quick, uh, because they have pretty good fire resistance overall and moderately good um, lightning resistance as well. But the lightning damage is mostly what we're going to be coming out of here with for damage anyways. Now, Shanks will probably put us where we need to be in terms of reputation once we report that in. That was a decent stun, Jack. That far left one could have gone a little closer to them, but it's whatever at this point, really. There we go. All right. And all of this was fairly useless, which is fairly expected. Alright, he'll burn to death. We'll rip back the Devil's Crossing and report that in, hopefully getting the reputation we need. Let's find out. I believe it'll be worth the correct amount. Yes, there we go, because this was worth uh, 250. And now we can acquire a couple of key items. First off, this. I don't think we need either of these recipes. I don't think we need any of these. Pretty sure we don't. No, we don't. All right. Use this, and I believe we can give, um, what's his name over here? Dynamite for extra. Yes. There we go. There you are. Not nearly a century ago, a man named Oswald Harvey created the first. All right. We're actually going to take care of this really quick now, because this will hopefully be able to help us get a little bit more reputation. Actually, we can go ahead and kill this one zombie over here. It's not really going to be much of a problem. Also, whack you. Hello. Now, my poison and acid resistance is 80%, so that's really good, because obviously these are slit. They're going to be a problem if we don't do this. Now, we're not doing this for the experience or even the loot. We are exclusively doing this for the sake of reputation. That is the only reason we're going through this. That is the number one motive right now. That is what we are primarily fighting for at this time. Did I open this already? No, I did not. All right, here's 100 or so experience. 150, pardon me. In we go. We'll ignore those slips because whatever. We're just going to run through here pretty quick. We're not in any particular uh, need for grind right now, although we'll at least stop and open this chest because it would be really silly not to. It's free whatever. Free bits, apparently. Uh, we'll go down here just because I think it's a little bit smarter. Hello. All right. I mean, they're nice and weak to fire. Although that's partially helped by, of course, Aura of Censure, but... Slith don't do particularly well against fire. Actually, there's a lot of things in the game that... It's very interesting with the fire element, as opposed to a lot of the other elements, where... Things are either pretty resistant or pretty weak to fire overall. There's not a whole lot of enemies that just are at a happy medium. A lot of them are in the Forgotten Gods content. A lot of those enemies are either resistant or neutral to fire, really. Um... I would describe 
the Ethereals as broadly speaking having decently good above I would say they would have above average fire resistance but not like huge usually uh, they usually do pretty well against elemental damage in general obviously they do very well against ethereal damage broadly speaking so uh, yeah that's just a magical time Most beasts are weak to fire, uh, which extends to the slith, obviously. The undead, of course, usually. The exception to that is really the uh, mummies and the Forgotten Gods content. Those are usually at least moderately... Moderately to really resistant to fire, it really depends. They do fairly well for themselves against fire. Probably as a reflection of the fact that they're mummies and they're in a desert and all that other jazz. Okay, we are in too much poison here. So we'll just shoot you from a distance. Alright. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Almaraz is Al Alacrity? Not for us. That's gonna be for uh, Nightblades. So it's probably gonna... In it would... It would it very likely increases pierce and bleeding, not to cold like I was expecting, but we still don't do any bleeding damage anyways, so it doesn't really make a difference. Rhyme Frost, that's cold, so we're not going to actually equip this, we already know that. Excellent. And then there's going to be guys right here, eliminate them really quickly. Problem resolved. It's quite delightful. Oh, hello. And fantastic. Okay, hello. That was a bit close there, but that's all right. Whew. All right. The nice thing about the bugs is that they take so long to come up out of the ground, by the time they do, they're at least half dead, if not more, depending on the strength of the individual bug. We'll just waltz on through here, get rid of all these bozos. This is fantastic. Excellent. Yeah, 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 you've got dozens of children. No one cares. There's a totem here, which is fairly interesting. We'll go ahead and deal with that really quick. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. This is beasts, I assume. Yes, it is. That's right. I was just pulled off the grandest escape this side of... Yes. That was spicy. Uh, yeah. Blood Orb of Cthan, which I really love this, just because it's pure occultist. And I just really like that. Ah, <sighs> yeah. This is just overall pretty interesting. Uh, what this basically is intended for is for your pets to just start doing... Chaos and Vitality damage, as well as you. Uh, this works really well, actually, with... Necromancer, incidentally. Since, actually, I want to talk about this for a hot second, uh, just because I'm on a roll here. Now, normally, if with just the occultist, obviously this is intended for occultist. That goes without saying, but what a lot of people don't remember is that the skeletons, at their third skill, do elemental damage. And, of course, you have the poison zombie that does acid damage. So what this is really intended for is a really spicy occultist necromancer pet focused build converting your pets to do chaos and vitality damage utilizing the crystal modification of Slayles of Witchfire and then going into Bloody Pox and probably I would say another good pick would be the Sigil of Consumption and then you just finish up go all the way to um, a doing go all the way to possession and you're pretty much all set 
a Tempest Sigil. Ah, uh, yes. War Mace, that is a belt that is not great. That is a mediocre amulet. We have a Pendant here. Chaos Poison, no. Belt of the Wild, no. Axe Sledgehammer, no. And Taskmaster is a no. All right. Delightful. Ooh. Ah, uh, hello. Just some slaps. Just some slaps. Perfect. Oop. Hold on. There we go. We can actually ignore you. You're just gonna burn to death. Wide throw. Kinda terrible, but we didn't need that much anyways. Good old ritual blade. Which we don't need in our lives. We're just gonna go through here and wipe these guys out because I know they're gonna chase me. We don't really want that going into the next room, and we can just open this chest for free stuff. Anyways. Alright. And just clear this out really quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that worked out about as well as I was expecting. This shouldn't be too bad, because we do have really good poison as resistance, but we obviously still don't want to be standing somewhere like that. Uh, let's see if we can lure you somewhere safer. Can we stand right here? Please? There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. This is fine. You know, you're too far away. Can you come a little closer, please? You're really not going to need to, though. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, interesting. Still not probably going to be good enough to keep, in all honesty. This is only level 70. Okay. No, no, no. Get out of the way. There we go. Isn't that nice and smooth? And we get some nice, delicious free experience here. Excuse me. There we go. And we'll just crack open the local chests. Go ahead and explode this. Chains of Olrun. Nice. Very nice. That chest armor. Not good enough. Never mind. Anyone else? No? Cool. Well, that was pretty useless. <laughs> Alright. Crack this, crack this. Rift back to Devil's Crossing, report that in for the rep. And then we're pretty much just going to do a couple of very select... Yep. We don't need this. Go ahead and sell this trash really quick while we're in the area. Store our stuff as well. I believe last time I accidentally sold that amulet. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't just sell it. No, it was, it was a very specific pattern on it. I didn't just sell it. I sold it accidentally last time. That's fine. We'll find something better. Or we can forge something better as well. I forgot I leveled up. Actually, I'm going to be honest. I don't even think I noticed necessarily that I leveled up. Can we actually... I mean, that's okay and all, but... Uh... Yeah, we're really not... Looking for anything out of here. Store our stuff. And this, of course. And don't we have... Yes. Can we actually flip this? No. Fair enough. There we go. Alright. Off we go. We're just going to do some very choice quests very quickly. 
Uh, we're running back this way because we need to rescue... I'm sorry, we need to convince, uh, I think, Steven Skinner not to burn his family alive. So that needs to be done. And then we're going to need to do the merchant, which I'm pretty sure you have to do in a straight line, because otherwise I have tried... I'll, I'll explain what I mean when I get there. It's kind of tough to explain just randomly right here without context. So we'll go ahead and talk you out of this. And then we'll see if this path is open. I'm not 100% sure it is. It is... Yes, okay. Really wild throw there. That was fairly useless. Now, the stone hides are one of the very few beasts that really don't much care about fire. They're kind of indifferent to it. They're naturally tanky anyways. But, uh, still not too much of a problem. This guy. Now, if you rift to the rift up here in the Arkovian foothills, before you talk to him, I'm pretty sure he just dies before you can talk to him, and you can't complete the quest. So I'm pretty sure you have to approach him from that specific side first, otherwise he croaks. Because I've tried a couple of times to come in from the Arkovian foothills rift, and he's dead every time I come this way before I even have talked to him. So I'm pretty sure it is, mostly has to do with having to approach him from the south. Alright, so we've done that, that's nice. We now will talk to the good old rover people over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and eliminate these zombies really quick first. Just because we can. Yeah, there you go. Goodbye. And... Boom. Perfect. We do that. We grab your quest. We head north because it's just a heck of a lot faster. Excellent. guys up here willing to eliminate really quickly, or not, apparently, this time. Sure. Go chat up the Elder. Now, you may be wondering, why aren't you hunting down and eliminating every single member of Cronley's gang? For example, I could go into the mine there, grab a piece of dynamite, and kill the boss in there. Well, primarily because you get way more reputation for such in Ultimate, first off, and second off, if I really need the reputation, I can do the bounties in Ultimate and get more reward. Like I've said before, leveling up in Ultimate is very difficult, it is quite time-consuming without quests and everything, so at that particular point I'll be needing bonus experience anyways, so that'll wind up being my best option. At this point, this is all just trying to set up for as much as I can get reputation-wise, and then, you know, anything I need left over will just come from bounties and ultimate once I'm done with Homestead. There are a lot of opportunities to get extra reputation for Devil's Crossing in their own quests. So it's not really that much of a problem, in all honesty. At this point, there's no more quests we need here, so we can just pop over to Old Arcovia. And we are very specifically going to enact an extremely specific version of this quest. Now, you're going to accept this. No, never mind. I had almost forgotten something, but, uh... We'll do this, and... Yes, they don't have any kind of reputation bonus. For a long time, I was under the impression that if you got the kid to Devil's Crossing, that gave you Devil's Crossing reputation, but it does not. Nothing involving those people gives you anything in terms of Devil's Crossing or any reputation at all. So. We'll deliver that later. I want to end the beast's life first. Uh, let's take these out first, though. I really don't want a bunch of stone hide, stone tusk boars 
coming at me in the middle of a rather intense fight with a giant troll substantially higher level than me. Just not really my idea of a good time. I mean, as it is, we can handle him, but if there were stone tusks around, that this would not be happening. Let's be really honest here. There we go. Pendant of Valiance. Excellent, actually. I have the Ribbon of Valiance, I know. I don't think I have the Pendant of Valiance, so that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, we might actually equip this just for the increase in defense. We'll just basically be swapping power for defense. It's not a bad trade, especially since we can tack on some stuff to increase our damage anyways. So what we're going to do at this point is grab the Royal Jelly of Doom. And then we're going to go ahead and take out the Forges the Old Fashioned Way. While we're here, actually, get rid of this stuff, because we don't need it at all. Uh, Alright, so we have some Ethereal Essence. That's fine. Now, this goes in here. Pendant of Valiance goes in here, but I want to check... That's not it. That's not it either, but we can equip this. We don't want to yet, or at all at this point. Signet of Valiance, I have one of the signets. I have, uh, yeah, I do have the Ribbon of Valiance. So I'm just missing the Ring of Valiance is what I'm missing. And then I'll have the complete set, which is fairly nice. It's actually very encouraging that I almost finally have that complete set again. That, that'll be a big relief to have that complete set. That extra defense really can save your life a lot of times especially in Ultimate. If you're having a problem, if you're unprepared and you happen to have that set, that, that'll get you through. Now we're going to go here and we're going to run out this way and deal with the forges this way. It's a lot faster. Ultimately, with um, Elite, the Elite difficulty, you want to spend as little time in, difficult, in Elite difficulty as possible. You won't really theoretically need that much setup, having done most of that in Veteran when you have your higher resistances, and you don't get as many bonuses as you do in Ultimate. While Ultimate does reduce your resistances by more, obviously, your time in Veteran should have given you at least enough armor to mostly survive that those decreases in uh, your resistances, so it shouldn't really be that much of a problem. So, it's it's very much a kind of a, well, do we care about it, you know? Does it, does it really matter if we have slightly increased drops for slightly decreased resistances? We can, we, when we can go hardcore the whole way through and just not only get much higher chance of good items, which will do us more good, but also we get more reputation... And sure, there, we have less resistances, but by this time, we should have everything we need for that anyways. I am somewhat lacking in ethereal resistance, which is a definite handicap, and that is a serious concern for when I do switch up to ultimate, if I don't resolve that issue before then. So basically, my only real task at this point in time is to find at least some piece of equipment that will bring my aether resistance to a high enough point that I'm not going to die to every other ethereal enemy that looks at me funny is basically what we're doing here. That is that is the the reductive version of what I am trying to accomplish here. And we're just going to go back in here and we're just going to basically wipe out the everyone we need to. Go ahead and grab the rover books down at the bottom of that pit. Always a good idea since our rover reputation is still going to be very slow growing because obviously they really want you killing undead. Notice I haven't really needed to use my Inquisitor Seal too much at this point. It's just not strictly necessary for a lot of these guys, because I can blast through them pretty quick once I get into melee range. Some of the ranged enemies do pose some potential threat, but not enough that really we need to worry about it extensively. So that's really all we need here. Oh, there's a hero here. There he is. You guys want some? That's what I thought. 
I'm just a little disappointed there's no totem here. That would have been really nice to see. Somebody's still shooting me. Oh, it's another hero. Not anymore. Baranath Reforged. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I don't know how. It's got such a unique name, but here we are. Oh, hello. There's the Analyst of Prokovia we need. Thanks for the random stuff. Okay. Oop. Let's not get stuck, thank you. And we're just gonna... Oop, hello. Ah, we'll go ahead and grab that, whatever. Just going ahead and basically just run to, um... Grunley, that's his name. I mean, it's not like these enemies are going to pose any particular threat. The Ethereals will be a bit of a problem, but I don't anticipate... I mean, 39 resistance is terrible, but I should be able to just blitz through without too much trouble here. Yeah, about what I expected. I just have to be hyper-aggressive, so that way I can kill them before they kill me. You got money bags. You have just enough damage to actually make me have to use a healing potion there. So good on you for that. My sun jacks could be more accurate though. Can I just like get inside your there we go, yes I can. Hand guards of frostbite, so we already know we don't care. Alright. There's a totem up there. All right, that's good. A shield I don't need. Shoulder guards I also don't need. I already know that's for Arcanist. Oops. Free dynamite, thank you. Always appreciated. And you can get out of dodge. Alright, yeah, there's that uh, Aether damage that I've been so concerned about. There we go. Bit touch and go for a second there, but we worked it out. Okay, yep. Yeah. Just be getting too arrogant. But fair enough, fair enough. Not too much of a problem. It's not that long of a run. I'll obviously be using a spirit-bound ointment before I fight Cronley, because otherwise I'll just drop dead too quickly. Probably use a royal jelly extract as well, which we never gave that guy the royal jelly, which is fine. What is our rep at with uh, Devil's Crossing? Okay, not too bad in the honor. You can see where we're starting to get a little bit of extra there. I would like to get the rovers to honored before I hit ultimate, so that way when I start killing larger quantities of Arcovian undead in ultimate, then I will have that bonus. That would be fairly nice. We should probably put down a rift somewhere along the way. That was a bit early, but I've had random enemies respawn before, so why take chances? All right. And we'll just waltz it up here. There we go. Guess you can see the elemental resistance kicking in there. We'll go for that dynamite, because why not? I'm greedy like that. Goodbye. And we'll grab the dynamite and shoot that. You know what? We'll go for the bees, too. Random royal jelly. Actually, wait. Can we just grab this here while we're over here? That'd be a lot more convenient. No, I don't think they're going to have enough royal jelly across all of them. There's two. Not quite. Not quite. Close, but no cigar. That's okay. But 
Vitality, of course. Isn't that always the way? Huh. That's strange, because I didn't gesture to use it, but it didn't actually happen. Alright. Whatever. Alright. You know, we're gonna go ahead and take this on the old-fashioned way here. There we go. Fine, that's fine. We're golden. Okay, we have completely done that. Nice. Crystalum, hello. Hubbard of Arcane Lore, hold on. Elemental damage, uh, still not good enough. Decay, wolf, wait, that actually might have had potential. Uh, ooh, hmm. No, the armor and aether resistance are lower. The lightning damage is lower. This is actually a piece of trash. What the heck? You can see where some of those were, um... The famed, the feared, uh... Ethereal Elites. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not using Lightning Tether or Explosive Strike, so we're not that interested. Also, its resistances are terrible and it doesn't have enough armor, but that's all beside the point. Alright. Oh, free dynamite. Thanks. Love that. And... Alright. Hello. The storm spreader would have been really nice there. Take them all out at one time, but alright. Sure thing. And we still have that active. We're going to go ahead and activate... Uh, I forgot we already read that. Where'd it go? I know I have one in here. There it is. Just get rid of these really quick. Always make sure you ask about Elsa. Now the reason why I backflipped there very specifically is because I wanted to nail the Aether Crystal that he was summoning at that time. Because I knew if I backed up, I would be in perfect line to hit it with a demonic fire, which would have been crippling for that. Okay. I just stayed too long in one spot. I should have backed up again, but I did not do that in time. That is okay. We have one more of these. We have one more of these very conveniently. And we put a rift right there, so we're not really going to have any time lost. A bit of experience, but that's not really important at this point. We don't much care. Potion here. Back it up. Take care of you really quick. That's fine, that's fine. Back it up. Nope. Okay. There we go. And we'll put this here. Now I just gotta survive the onslaught of lunatics. Okay. We're fine. Ah, <sighs> that's trash. Okay, so that's taken care of. Which is absolutely amazing. Go ahead and take care of this as well. Alright, so that's done. So what we need to do is go back to Devil's Crossing, have a chat with a whole bunch of lunatic people. 
So actually, first we're going to sell our stuff. We already know all of this is useless to us anyways, so we can just sell pretty indiscriminately. Then we have to talk to Steven Skinner over here, because we haven't done that yet. Get his okay ring. I have to pull out another royal jelly there as well. And Barnabas, we'll go ahead and talk to Sure, but it's not going to make any difference at this point. Oop, hold on. Deposit that. Pull out one of these. Throw these in here. Hold on. First off, forgot about these. Second off, use that. Alright, so that was fairly successful. I think we can probably run through the Arkovian Undercity really quick as well, to be completely honest. I don't think we're going to have a particular problem with that, but first we want to stop by Old Arkovian and report those in. Just get those out of the way really quick. I mean, we completed them already, so it's whatever. Now, he's going to tell us to repair Mogdrogan's Shrine. <coughs> Pardon me. We're not going to do that. Because it is a shrine, and that'll be worth more to us in Ultimate. We are honored by the rovers, so what we are going to do is... And actually, we actually got this one uh, exactly correct here. Uh, I can't remember if there's anything here we might possibly need. Well, there's that, but I think we have... Green color powder... We have offensive ability versus... I mean, technically this is slightly better, but... That's rings and amulets, though. We don't have anything on these, do we? Oh, we do. We have Kimmins. Yep, that's fine. That is actually probably slightly better. We're not really worried about that. We don't need those. We need any of these. Demon Fire and Flames of Ignifar, but we're not doing Vitality and Chaos damage, so we don't care. So that all doesn't matter. We do need to sell this ring, though, and we don't need this recipe here, either. Okay, so... Now that that's all completed, talk to I forgot to talk to Barnabas really quick. And then... Actually, what we could theoretically, technically do... Ah, uh, no, I suppose it doesn't really make a huge difference. Uh, we're going to go right to the Twin Falls, deal with this. Ta-da! Okay. No skeletons up there. There are skeletons right here. They are going to die very quickly. Take care of this little problem down here. There we go. Run this way. It's generally faster. This is so quick eliminating the undead with this build, honestly. And just take this out. There we go. And... Just eliminate you really quick. Are there enemies here? There are. Alright, good. You mean nothing? Perfect. Just a quick blitz through the Arcovian of Age. Alright, now, do we have the book over here? We do not? Okay. Who's shooting? I might as well get rid of you guys really quick. Random level up, that's fine. Well, not really random, but... A surprise level up, I'll actually would probably be proper to say. Nope, I accidentally put down a rift. 
What I meant to do was go in here. Put this in. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and put Phoenix Rise here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. That's not at all what I wanted to do. And we're gonna well, there we go. Now we run even faster. Even though at this point it's really useless for in terms of healing, it's such a small heal it doesn't matter. At this point we're just using it for that delicious move speed. Just to make life go a little bit faster. There it is. Get rid of you really quick because you're just being a pain in the neck at this point. There we go. Wander in here for a secret. Hey, what else does this do? That's right, less damage from Chthonics and stuff. Forgot about that. That's the part I always forget about it. That, that's actually not bad armor, except we desperately need the Aether and Chaos Resistance, so we're not going to equip it, but that wasn't bad. That absolutely was not bad. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk to our boy over here, Necromancer Dude. Crack open this chest while we're in the area. Oh, there's a totem over there. We'll probably go ahead and whack really quick. There's a secret over here I want to grab while we're in the area anyways. Which apparently has nothing in it. Yep, nothing. Alright. Fair enough. A little strange, but sure. I fear no one right now. But I will waste a potion because apparently I did not need one when I used that, but that's fine. You're just doomed. There we go. Alright. Terrible. Uh, terrible. Handguards of Alacrity. Pierce and Aether Resistance. Okay. Do we need that Poison Acid Resistance? Oh, uh, we kind of do. Do we need the Bleeding Resistance? Kind of, yes. Hmm. But, we desperately also need that Aether Resistance. And I think, oh, that's just, that's just interesting either way. Um... We're going to go ahead with the Stonehide ones, because that does increase my attack. Well, they both increase my attack speed, though. Mm, increases my armor, though, so we're going to leave the Stonehide ones on. The increased armor is something that I'm actually going to really want. Ah, uh, no, no, there's no resistances on that, so we don't care. And now we're just going to go on through and just really quickly go through our, the Okrovian Undercity. You've already seen a small sample of exactly how speedily disturbing it can be to eliminate the undead with this setup before they even get out of the ground, so it's not like this is going to be any kind of struggle or anything like that. We just have to make sure we get all the forgotten passages and kill all the undead we actually need to kill. I mean, technically speaking, once we get through with this, we don't even necessarily need to report it right away either, or anything like that, because we can just rift wherever. Maniacal gauntlets, huh? Chaos, yeah. Thought it was chaos. I forgot about the poison acid, though. There we go. And... Out of here. Let's see if they give me the easy or the hard journey. They gave me the easy one. All right. Unless they gave me the medium. Let's 
find out. They gave me the medium. All right. Just absolute blast through here. Hello. Go ahead and activate that really quick. Although I'm not going to need it right now. Perfect. Now I'm going to need it because here's no, no, no most dread. I like how that guy over there is just lying down, just taking random damage from my Oldsman's Wrath, just because he's there. Now, unfortunately, you know, most Dread obviously has pretty good lightning resistance, which is the problem here. Flamekeeper's Girdle, I think that's for my combination. <sighs> yes, now. I could equip this, and it wouldn't necessarily be an entirely bad idea, except for the massive drop in Poison Acid and Pierce Resistance, which I desperately need right now. Uh, it is a really good belt. Will I actually want the whole thing? Uh, there's a decent argument for this. Obviously, it's level 72, so I have some time before I get to this point. The problem here is that Agonizing Flames is specifically this, which does chaos damage, which I'm not going to do, but on the other hand, it does convert chaos, or a percentage of chaos damage, to fire damage, so that really is going to depend on where I'm at build-wise, level 72, that is five levels away, so that's actually going to be a pretty surprisingly long amount of time, I've gotten two level ups this episode, sure, I think maybe possibly two in a little bit, I can't quite remember, but as we are going along, we're going to be taking, I'm sorry, receiving less and less experience because that's just it's going to take more and more to level up so even though actually we'll technically be receiving the same amount of experience it'll just not be as impactful as really what i should be defining that as specifics they're important could have swore there was somebody up there unless he already died and then the rest of them burn Void Fire I already knows Vitality Fire. Or Fire Chaos, one or the other. I can't quite remember. I thought it was Vitality. Uh, no, Chaos. Alright. Oldsman's Wrath to win. Forgotten Passage, which is fine. And off we go. Okay. Like I said, this isn't going to take very long. This is pretty weak sauce for this build, this area. That's a spare forgotten passage in case we didn't find one other one. And we fight, and you die, and then we just have to deal with this guy. That's a problem. There we go. Temporary problem. Nope. All of these are going to be useless to me. Nope. Framing of Fortitude, maybe? Ah, uh, no. That's a very hard no. My demon fire hit the wall. Alright. Oh, hold on. That was useless. <laughs> Complete waste of time, thank you. Come on out. 
You'll regret it. Told you you'd regret it. Slap. You're just lying on the floor. You can go. There we go. Thank you. Oh, hello. All right. Well, you're gone. You're next. And then all of you. Nice. I had to use a potion and a seal for that, but that was worth it easy. We have over 100 potions, I'm pretty sure. Down we go. Kill the last two ghosts. We don't even need to go all the way through and kill the last boss guy because we're really, we really don't need to, honestly. There's no real point. A little bit of extra reputation, but we'll worry about that in Ultimate to clean that up at the very least. We're at Honored with uh, the Rovers, which is the minimum of what we needed, so. Okay, this is going to get pretty ugly pretty quickly, I think. There's enough skillful Gargantuans around where this could be problematic. Or not. Okay. There we go. Oh, you came over to me, huh? Alright, fair enough. No, you're not him. You're just a random hero. Fair enough. I respect the gumption. Okay. This should be quick. pretty quick boss fight overall. I was not 100% sure the demon fire would hit that ghost at that range. I did not. Alright, we'll just focus on my boy here. There we go. Okay. Pretty much all melee stuff except for this, which isn't good enough to even bother with anyways, so... Alright, fine. You guys are tired of being around? That's fine. I can help you with that. There we go. A delicious polished emerald. dead already. Rinse and repeat right here, I believe. Uh, a little farther back than I was expecting, but same rough area. Yeah. Now, we're having none of this back here. That's all I'm saying. Just like that, everyone's dead, Jim. You're too late there, skill boy. Alright, we'll have to take a look at that helmet. That's actually potentially interesting. Um, chaos resistance. We lose some bleeding resistance. It has lower armor, though. Mm, yeah, we're going to pass on that. Shoes? The shoes weren't bad. Not enough armor, though. Just give them an 
get all this. There we go. And waltz on up here. Hello. Just whack you guys really quick. Delicious. Fantastic. Okay. No, 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 you get back here. There we go. Just take care of you really quick. Yeah, I know there's strange howls in the night, but I don't really care. Sharpshooter's class I, which is fairly interesting, but we're not going to need because the Sharpshooter's set requires the Bolt Rifle there is a two-handed weapon. That's terrible. That's interesting. Not quite good enough, though. Alright, so we're actually just going to end the episode here. We've eliminated the three ghosts. We're not quite at an hour yet. So at this point, we're going to spend pretty much most of our remaining levels on Word of Renewal, and then whatever is left on Flame Touched, possibly Fire Strike, an Explosive Strike, only time will tell on that. But that's pretty much the direction that I'm looking to take this. We're starting with Word of Renewal, which at this point I'm mostly just using for the move speed increase, which is pretty substantial even at level 3. Uh, so that's really what we're doing here. I mean, the 9% health plus whatever is nice and all, but at this point in the game, it's not really impactful. It will become impactful as we go on, but it's not really that big of a deal. As for uh, the next areas, we're going to go ahead and go through the Broken Hills and kill Lutra. And then once we kill Lutra, we're basically just going to rift to Dead Man's Gulch so we can find the dead girl in the mountain deeps. And then rift to Homestead, clear Homestead out, get Ulgrim there. It, we're really going to be popping much faster. Like I said, we want to be in Elite as little as possible. Now, as for reputation, we are at a fairly nice point with Devil's Crossing. We're a little bit farther back than what I usually am, but it's not really going to make a huge difference. We'll see how much we can make up of that in Ultimate before we're done with Homestead, because we obviously get a reputation-boosting quest in Homestead when you deliver the food back. That increases your Devil's Crossing reputation by a substantial amount. Uh, so after that, in Ultimate, if we have more reputation left, which I am anticipating, then we'll stop and do a couple of bounties. It shouldn't take too many, honestly. Uh, same kind of thing with the rovers, except we're not doing the rovers side quest of increasing their reputation because that requires doing a shrine, which we will want to be saving for ultimate anyways. So with that being said, that's really what we're looking at here. Black Legion, I kind of expect just completing that first quest with the amalgamation that will get them to honored purchase the writ and then go through the rest of their quest line it'll probably be next episode honestly because getting to homestead is going to take me probably uh gosh maybe 15 minutes tops so it's not going to take me that long to get there so uh yeah and i mean you can see where the outcast is really not having a problem getting up towards revered i expect to be at revered with her by the end of this difficulty barrow home will get up to honor it again for the same kind of thing once we get to the blood grove and we start really whacking chthonics then we're really going to see a huge change here uh kimmon's chosen i'm not necessarily sure if we're going to even need to do their quests i might do them this one last difficulty but that's something i can decide at the end of the game i'm not really worried about it right this minute so uh that's really what we're talking about here so in the meantime thank you all very much for joining me and I appreciate it, and if you like this, please like and subscribe, and have a great 24 hours. Oh, leave your comments, questions, concerns, ideas, and suggestions down in the comments below. I do read them. Thank you.